Hi, I'm Angie Metters, and I want to share today a, a few drills that I do um, on working and keeping my horses tuned and for my colts, uh, getting them started on the barrels, and for my older horses um, that just need some slow work and not necessarily just putting them on the pattern and working the three barrels. Um, I like to do a lot of drills where it's not on the, the barrel pattern. Um, <clears throat> I set up a lot of barrels out in my arena and I expect my horse to be able to, to go and listen to wherever I put them and whatever barrel we're going to. So I'll show you today um, a drill and I call it the, the four barrel drill. Um, it's really good for horses that are get excited on the pattern and that you know you're you're trying to just you can just slow them down and make them relax and it's good for when you can you can handle a horse this way you can teach them how to approach the barrels leave the barrels you can do pretty much anything you need to do um, by just going around the barrel like you would in a pattern or, or making the perfect turn around the barrel. So this little horse, um, when I got her, she was having some issues with the first barrel. She would get in on the first barrel and not want to finish the turn. She would pretty much lock up. And, and uh, so I've had to really work on her. And she's also a little more of a, uh, she likes to go. So she needed to just be backed off and you know, learned that she can go out here and go around a barrel without having to be stressed out and it can be enjoyable and it can be smooth. So with her, um, it's a good drill that I work on too to keep my horses out and moving forward. So, like I said, this mare was really wanting to go in and get tight onto the barrel. So I can work her out in a way, keeping her forward motion. On this drill, whoa, scared of the tractor. <laughs> um, I'm constantly working on her headset, her body position, where her ribs are. This little mare really wanted to drop and throw her ribs into the inside of the turn. So with that being said, I've really worked on trying to keep her ribs picked up and art. And just slowing this mare down to where she enjoys running barrels again and it doesn't, everything's not just such a big deal to her anymore. That she'll actually kind of slow down and relax. But you can do all of these going to the left. Or you can switch them up. It's good for working on your leads too. You can switch up pretty much go to any barrel you want and I believe that your horse should listen to you enough to know and be correct no matter what barrel you go to if you go to the left if you go to the right if you go to the third barrel first if that's where you want to go then that's where your horse should go so I do a lot of this at home and I find that it helps a lot of my horses, you know, colts learning just to turn a barrel and how to turn a barrel and what a barrel is, how to rate a barrel. Um, with this drill, you can also, the horse that needs to learn some collection, you can ask him to speed up, ask for speed, ask him to collect, and then go around the barrel. You can ask for speed. Whoa, whoa, ask for collection. Okay, ask her for a little more speed. Whoa. So this drill is good for a lot of things. 
and as you can see, this horse is a very busy horse. She's always going, going, going. That's all she's got on the brain. So this drill is good for her that for I can ask her, whoa, to do all of these different things, but I'm not just drilling her on the barrel pattern. Whoa. You can do that to the right or the left. You can pick whatever barrel you want, like I said, but this is a drill that I do use and I feel like a horse that I've got that's running by a barrel or something and he needs to learn some collection. I can send him off to the barrel and then slow him down. I can do several things that I, I like to work on with horses with this drill. And you can even add more barrels to the drill. A lot of times I'll put six barrels out here and run the pattern from both ways. So basically I guess what I'm trying to say is whatever barrel you go to, make sure your horse is listening to you and that it's in correct position to turn a barrel no matter what angle and no matter where you're coming from.